Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. During the lockdown, I have uh, not done many things. One of the things that I did was to watch avidly a lot of uh, international news and just trying to understand the situation globally, especially the uh, sort of conflict between China and uh, a few Western countries, which is not doing a lot good to my mental health, according to uh, a lot of experts, but uh, being a teacher of Chinese language and the culture to a lot of Western students, I think that's kind of uh, my job to do so. Anyway, among all those news, I came across with uh, this one. The world has lost great respect for China. That means it's lost face. China, you've lost face. The one thing you cherish most. Given the background of the conflict between Australian government and uh, the Chinese government, um, it is actually easy to understand what this guy is doing. My first impression would be this guy is being a little bit uh, bitchy. It's like, oh, China, you like your face, right? And now we don't respect you anymore and we are criticizing you openly. So we have taken your face. How do you like me now, China? Um, so it's a bit like that, right? Even though I honestly do not really I honestly do not really think that he understand what face really, really means. Not as much as I do, at least. But the thing is, I'm not interested in talking about the politics between Australian government and the Chinese government. And I'm more interested in talking about uh, the concept that he raised in the video. Face. Now, what is face? And how does it work? And or maybe trying to answer his question, has China really lost face during this pandemic? Um, as a Chinese, again, as a Chinese culture a teacher, I talked about this a lot in my classes, discussing with my students, because I believe that if you understand what face is, um, you would understand a lot of phenomena that are happening in China. The Chinese mentality um, are greatly influenced by this concept. As a Chinese who lived most of my life in a very conservative part of China, where face means a lot, perhaps much more important than, there, than many other places in China, I, mean, I would consider myself understanding it, even, even, though, even though it is hard to explain. It's like the air that you breathe. You cannot really describe what the air is. Okay, uh, I've been talking with a lot of Chinese people what face means and I've been reading a lot of articles and uh, uh, videos or lectures. Uh, I do not think that any, none of them, any one of them is able to provide a comprehensive definition that can clearly tell me what face is. There seems to be always exceptions. So today I'm going to give my effort, which I do not claim to be comprehensive or uh, authoritative, uh, but uh, it is just my try to tackle the concept of what means is from a Western, from a point of view that the Westerners or my Western students might be, uh, might find it easy to understand. And a little delimitation here so because i'm very much focused on what this concept is so i might uh, be a little bit uh, exaggerating or dramatizing it the whole concept when i explain it please keep that in mind and uh, well first of all the uh, the chinese word for face is mianzi or lian i mean if you don't have any face you say mei mianzi or if you lose your face, you could be, uh, in Chinese, you diu lian or diu mianzi. If you want face, you yao mianzi. If you give other people face, gei mianzi. If you have face, you mianzi. All these Chinese phrases are very commonly used in the Chinese day-to-day uh, uh, -day conversations. Face in English is sort of a, uh, a literal translation of what means is or lian is and uh, but the doesn't necessarily contain its culture connotation um, 
Even though I don't think a lot of Westerners understand this concept very well, well, there are some sort of uh, uh, definitions or explanations what um, faces. The most common ones would be respect, like the guy in the video claimed, or uh, maybe uh, esteem, right? Maybe some people would use esteem or honor or uh, reputation, maybe. See, all these words in English. I think are very closely linked to what face is, but none of them really explains the depth of what face is. See, like for example,、um, you can show disrespect to somebody in the public, and、uh, hoping that you will take his face, but in some occasions it's not necessarily so. This person can actually gain face by giving a very good rebuttal. Of your disrespectful、uh, remarks towards him. In order to understand what a face is, I have to、uh, talk about what does face do. Why do you want face? The one of the very important things to have face is to gain confidence. It is not just about how people treating you. Especially in the public place, it's actually also about your perception or a mutual understanding of how you are treated, how you respond. It is not just one-way feeling. It is a feeling、uh, that based on a mutual communication, a mutual understanding between you and a person who either give you or take away your face. And the second thing, what means it does. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, is to raise your social status. This, of course, is related with number one that gives you confidence, but it's also more focused on what other people thinking of you, or what you are in the eyes of other people of the community. And it's not just a reputation; it's more of a, a social status thing. Speaking of this, I would like to talk about a breakthrough. During the process of me understanding what、uh, means is, or trying to explain what means is,、uh, it was、uh, a movie called. It was one of the Black Mirror movies called Nosedive, and here is a little bit of a clip. You want a cookie with that? It's on the house. Sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, JJ. See you, Lacy. <laughs> oh, saw your boy in the fire hat just now. So cute. Yeah, he's really something. <laughs> the movie describes a society where everybody、uh, can rate each other to give each other a social credit. Right, and uh, uh, this social credit decides what you can do or what you cannot do、uh, in the society. For example, if your social credit is really low, you cannot enter certain places like restaurants, or you cannot use uh, uh, some sort of a social services. As a matter of fact, in some of my classes,、uh, some students brought this up and talk about uh, um, brought this concept of social credit up. They were talking about China is、uh, implying. Implementing a social status uh, uh, system, which、uh, of course, according to them, is horrible. Then my first reaction was,、um, "No, it's not. It's not really ho- horrible." Then somehow I connected that social credit with means and with this movie, and everything became quite clear. Right. So, and I said, I responded to these students, "Well, that's what we have been doing all the time." The social credit system is actually the means system. You are gaining social credit by gaining means, and with this, and more importantly, with this social credit, with this means that you have, you can do a lot of things where you cannot do without them. And I think the reasons behind that is very much based on the social class uh, categories, uh, categorization. In the、uh, ancient times of China, for thousands and thousands of years, the hierarchy, the class, which were imprinted in the people's mind. Now, and I think 
my personal opinion would be because all these differences, social differences uh, are lifted so because of that and they abolished uh, all the rules of what kind of clothes you should wear to tell other people to show your social status or the jade you wear or the hats, you know, then means becomes actually more important to maintain the source of social class and social credit system uh, in the modern society. And that explains a lot about how uh, Chinese consumer uh, mentality, like we like to buy, we uh, Chinese people are the number one luxury goods consumer in the world, right? even though they don't really have that much money, even though the rich people in China are still of a, a smaller number, but they would like to buy the luxuries to gain means. They would like to use an iPhone or a really good brand of a cigarette that costs about 50 euros a pack or sometimes 100 euros for 20 cigarettes and all very good booze or um, good cars, right? nice clothes, very expensive nice clothes um, to show their social status to gain means even though affording it might be a problem for them. And also, another thing is they might spend a lot of money, this appropriate amount of uh, money in Westerners' uh, point of view to buy dinners for their friends, uh, to show their hospitality, to buy gifts for their friends, or especially friends that they would like to like them. And a lot of people would think, oh, that's pretty uh, superficial hypocrite sort of way, but not necessarily, because the core of, sh of being uh, big on presentation lies in the social credit value, the value that social credit gives you. The Chinese people are a very practical group of people, or, or even pragmatic, because they want to pursue this social credit in order to get a lot of benefits from what the social credit or social status can do for you. Like when you have a higher social status or credit, you are able to do many things in the society. So to conclude all that, see, gaining face is not just being respected. It's not just about feeling good or having confidence. It's more of like all these concepts comprehensively integrated together. It's like gaining comprehensive good reputation uh, and and uh, and self esteem through effective communications with a good understanding of each other and respect towards each other uh, in order to actually promote one's confidence inside and social uh, status uh, to the community. I mean, that's that's a very long sentence, but that's um, sort of my understanding of what face is. I would like to further explain the concept with uh, more metaphors that might not be 100% uh, accurate. Now, if you compare uh, sales and marketing, sales for me is more of like what Western people are doing. You tell about your product and you hope your customer would buy it. You are honest. You see, this product does whatever, blah, 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 blah. But in China, all the Chinese people are doing marketing. And the difference between marketing and sales is the mar in marketing, there are a lot of added values. Not just what this is really is, but the, the values of branding. When we are promoting the added values, we will sell ourselves at a much higher price than what the salespeople can do. So by now, some of you uh, might say, nah, that's bullshit. I don't like it. Okay, and uh, well, I mean, I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to understand it. And by the, and by the way, whether you admit it or not, and there are some advantages of having face of the face system. Like, first of all, when you have the system, uh, it's easier to control, and that's probably why China found it easier relatively speaking, to control the uh, uh, pandemic in, within China, right? Or, second of all, uh, what's wrong with that? Everybody's happy. Everybody seems to be happy in the movie. 
I don't want to hear about your problems all the time. I want to see your uh, angry, ugly face all the time. All right? I want to see something nice. I want to see the good side of you. I want to see the good part of you most of the time. And to be honest with you, I, not only you might not like it, I don't think a lot of Chinese people will like this video very much as well because I'm being a little bit more, because uh, I'm being a little bit uh, uh, too truthful right now. But all those are not the point. I mean, the point really is to better understand China. The point is for the West and China try to understand each other a little bit better and coexist especially at this moment. And the face is only one small aspect, important but still one small aspect of the Chinese culture, which is much, much more profound and complicated. Um, if you understand the conflict between those cultures, you would probably appreciate a little bit more what the Chinese government is doing right now and the pressure the Chinese is being under. Think about the China is managing a bunch of uh, uh, marketing people, right? A country of marketing people, while there's uh, loads of salespeople around him pointing out their problems and mistakes. It is a really tough situation, right? And uh, that's why maybe, maybe that's one of the reasons why Chinese government are sort of looking like they're showing their teeth. So now let's come back to the question in the video from the uh, Australian guy. Having said all that, this question becomes a much more complicated, much more difficult question to answer. If we focus on the criticism from a lot of government to Chinese government and to China, uh, we say, if you focus on that, we say, yes, it seems so that China has lost face. But at the same time, there are, if you watch, if you look at it comprehensively, Right? There might be some uh, admirations as well. So it's kind of debatable if China has really lost respect in the world stage. Let's suppose, you know, for the argument's sake, let's suppose so. Let's say the criticism overweights the, uh, the praises. Has China lost face? It's still very much debatable. Uh, because gaining face or losing face very much depends on the mutual communication and how China feels as well. Does China feel that it has lost face? I really doubt that. China has been fighting very hardly, fighting back and telling all those criticism to back off because China is in the process of maintaining his face. Right? He hasn't lost it yet. He only loses it when China admits that he lost it and in the eyes of everybody. If everybody understand what face is, which is not the case. So that is my uh, attempt to help you understand what a face is in uh, with the, a bit of a background of what's going on right now. And I hope you have learned something and uh, you're welcome to uh, discuss with me if you have different opinions. And if you have any questions, you're very welcome to uh, uh, contact me with it. Right. So that's that. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.